Hello and welcome back to Cinematic Universe, everyone. My name is Ernesto Martinez. The movie we're going to be reviewing today is Seventh Son, directed by Sergei Bodrov, starring Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore, Ben Barnes, Alicia Vikander, Anjay Trau, Olivia Williams, Jaiman Hansu, and Joan DeSantis. Based on a novel by Joseph Delaney, The Spook's Apprentice, The Blood Moon Rises. It can only mean trouble for the inhabitants of the world created by Joseph Delaney. But how much are you invested in this story? Apparently, not enough from legendary pictures to even put in the work to make this more than just another generic fantasy epic, if you can even describe it as such. As you see in the marketings, this is from the studio that brought you 300 and Godzilla, the two recent box office hits of 2014 that were generally well received. The marketing wanted you to believe that this would be another success story, but no, not in the slightest. And this is the same studio behind the Dark Knight trilogy, mind you. But Let's just say that that particular trilogy is a success story all on its own. And this movie just unfortunately barely comes to scratching off a fragment of that plateau. The only reason I was even remotely interested to see this movie was because of Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore, and Anjay Trow, whom you might remember as the ever-awesome butt-kicking Kryptonian Feora. There is a lack of energy to accompany the setting and machinations behind this production. For an $85 million budget, it barely shows any interest to, to put its own fantasy elements to better use. One could have easily saved half of the budget and scaled down the eye candy to better focus on the characters instead of jumping to the next explosive set piece. Sometimes bigger isn't always better. Jeff Bridges yet again plays another crazy old guy named... John Gregory, a.k.a. The Spook. Why they call him The Spook is because that's how he's called in the book, which is why the movie got the title changed to Seventh Son instead of The Spook's Apprentice. Try selling that to an audience with a PG-13 rating. But back to the cast. As the crazy old guy, he takes a young man under his wing by the name of Tom Ward, played by Ben Barnes, to save the world from impending doom at the very last minute, no less. Got an evil force ready to annihilate the world? Need it taken care of over the weekend? Call the spook and he will help. But be careful. Chances are his crew of two people. One will fall in love with a random woman and practically jeopardize the mission and your hard-earned money. Julianne Moore plays Mother Malakin, the queen witch of whatever. And even with her em practically impeccable acting background, doesn't even seem invested. Even though she sometimes looks like she's putting in a performance, and sometimes she's just talking, waiting to collect a paycheck. I don't know what it was about this movie, that every that from the first moment you see Jeff Bridges and Julianna Moore in costume, in the same room together, I kind of got this flashback to Sam Neill's Merlin movie. The problem is that that movie is better than this one. To be completely honest, it's a wasted cast for the most part. Though the movie is a bit more bearable than Black Hat, it still isn't good. It's just a waste of time and money, and I don't think it's even worth renting. Overall score, I give it a 4 out of 10, and that's my final honest rating. Thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.